One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. The link is in the description. So this is weekend mentoring for today, July 3rd. Um, you know, happy 4th of July weekend to all my American friends out there. Um, guessing we have a lot more Americans than uh, Canadians on this one. Um, but yeah, so this is weekend mentoring. What I did was I just, took, I just took the charts over the last uh, like two weeks that I thought were uh, good setups and good opportunities to kind of learn from. So this is AMC. Uh, this is just the intraday chart for just kind of full context. Obviously, we kind of get this pop and just this this fade. Um, this one was on uh, July 21st, and this is kind of how this member traded it. And I did want to kind of go over this just because I feel like the one thing is that like the thesis was there, but like the entry really kind of wasn't. And when you want to, when you want to short, you always want to be going short into some type of pop. And, you know, on this, on this execution here, like he did really like a lot better, but you never want to be going short because the stock is like, you know, pulling into weakness or anything like that. Right. I think it's, it's a good idea to always kind of wait for that, wait for that pop and then just kind of, uh, cover lower or stop out higher, whatever. But I think that you should always like try and stay away from those emotional entries, always be patient, wait for a pop, have a, have a plan and, uh, just trade that. If anyone wants to comment on this one. Shorting to strength. That's it. Shorting to strength. That that when he when he got the first time he got in, I don't understand why he did it. I'm assuming that he was um waiting for that breakout of the uh, breakdown of the previous day close. That's the only thing. Yeah. Because then it went up because it gapped up, right? So I'm assuming that the MIC way is that we short near that. That's the first bounce on the other side, like a uh, first bounce the other way around. You know, it's like it's coming back to BWAP and you're short bias so when it comes to be while it touches be what that's where you want to short you know so that that first that first entry was bad and the second entry again he was waiting he broke previous day close and it, and again so amc it's it's all over the place there have been people i've been watching people get burned up and down on this on this stock you know it's been really difficult to trade let's talk about what he wrote in the setup though he called it a first red day. She, he, I don't know who it was, but it was a guy named Al. What up, Al? Um, it's 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 not a first red day on June twenty first. If you look at the chart on a daily time frame, it's not a first red day at all. So I think I think aside from entry, it needs to be clarified that this is. No, far from a first red day. Uh, I just posted the daily chart in the chat. And yeah, the first red day was back. Just if anybody wants to reference this, you can reference this later in the video. The first red day on AMC during the run was June 3rd, 2021. Uh -huh. That was the first red day yep. after the big parabolic run. June, June 3rd, 2021, that was the first red day. I, I'm playing them, but I'm playing them with options. I will not go into, uh, what and I'll play like one or two options and that's it. It's to see if I catch the move. The other day with club, we were talking about it. Remember that I told you, I think it's going to 20. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and I started like scaling out of those options, you know, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I will not go into equity. I like playing options because I'll go one month ahead and I have time. If it doesn't work, I'll cut it out. I'll, I'll lose fifty hundred dollars and that's it, you know, but. But playing equities, it's, I don't know, it's, it's really dangerous right now because if you're shorting it, it can rip up. AMC has been in the radar of so many people to short it. And it's been, this has been being extended for how much? One month and a half where we have, we have been waiting for AMC to actually fall off the $50 range and it hasn't. So it's something for you to think about. You, you know, there's so many other features in the, in the, in the, in the sea right now yeah. to, to, to be out to, to be playing than this, you know. 
Didn't y'all say it was like, it was a, uh, what did you say? A $7 billion company? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Okay, guys. So y'all are categorizing this as a, as a small cap. And so you're going to approach this with a small cap, like right here. You know, they're approaching this with a small cap mentality. This is not a small cap. This is far from, far from a small cap. Um, I agree with Harry on this. I, I think you guys are dancing with the devil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and it's, yep. yep. There's an incredible amount of volume. If I'll tell you what Brian and I have been doing, Brian and I have been either playing the options, much like Clodio's doing, um, or buying dips on this thing and selling the pops ever exactly. into lines, exactly. into the lines, into the yeah. pivot points, playing that straight. This is this is one of those, like Harry said, meme stocks. Meme stocks have incredible volume right now and they're not something to be taken lightly. Uh, this is not going to just turn around and die. And yeah, I I like the I like the quick cover on this. You know, at the at the open right there. I think that was that was very uh, very intuitive. And um, what I what I disagree with, obviously, is is the reshort. I I think that this was a planned trade and then it went oh let me try to maximize the winner fuck gave it all back and no. so i you know i i think that you got the first resistance you got the first washout and now it's time to stop yeah yo yo let me ask you a question that you are like the more most seasonal trader here the, the the oldest one the most the most experienced one not to tell you jesus christ how many times did you just insult me <laughs> <laughs> have you seen this kind of price action in so many stocks in the seven ten years that you have been trading this is a new ball game you know it's like it's this i is have new. never i have never seen the hype that the meme stocks have exactly i was here for the the first bitcoin craze when it was considered blockchain and everything was running on the otcs and then it slowly started to move into the riots and and the uh mara mara yeah uh, mr MARA -A. -A -A, and then there was there was there was a couple more that uh there was one that started with an n and then there was but anyway it, it, it was thank you so much for watching our video if you want to see more of our videos please subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking the button here we do our best to post a new video every single day if you have any questions about mic or any general trading questions please text tosh using the number here also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here